Hello everyone. I am down here actually underneath one of my low tunnels covered with uh, ag fabric here amongst the plants. And I've been harvesting some greens because we have a three or four day cold spell coming in and I want to harvest all of my good quality leaves, kind of like these collard greens that are the perfect size that I like to take them in and saute them up for my wife and I. Um, but I wanted to kind of cover a topic, uh, kind of silly underneath this, but there's a question I had when I was kind of a beginning gardener, and that was how often should I harvest and what should harvesting look like? Especially when we're talking about re-harvestable uh, green leafy vegetables like kale, collards, br uh, brassicas. And what I've really found to be the case is that I like to get the plants to a leaf size that I find that's kind of the size that I would harvest at and to get three or four quality leaves there. And that's when I'll really begin harvesting. I'll harvest two out of three of those leaves, leave a big one, three or four smaller ones. Um, because previously I would let the plants grow, 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 grow and be afraid to harvest because I was worried that I would take away the, the production. When in reality, what you'll find is the more you harvest, the more you pick, the more you prune, the more the plant will produce. And that's kind of counterintuitive, especially if you're a beginner gardener, beginning growing plants. But what I've really found, and I'm all the way closed in here now, is that the more I pick my collard greens, my kale plants, Brussels sprouts, the more you pick these um, high intensively growing green leafy vegetables, the more they're gonna produce, which means more produce for you and your family, uh, more money for you if you're a market farmer, but really what you're gonna be doing is just maxing out what you can produce with that plant. Instead of letting it get, say, to a full marketable size with 10 leaves, you could have technically harvested 30 or 40 marketable size leaves over the course of three to four weeks instead of waiting a month after it's gotten to maturity to harvest. And, and that's been my case. I've seen a lot of others do that too. So I was just hoping that that would be uh, helpful to you. If you're out harvesting your greens, I'm harvesting my greens, like I said today, harvesting a bunch of kale and collards and bru um, Brussels sprout leaves. Uh, the collards will be cooked up for sauteed like greens and the rest of them will go into our morning smoothie mix. Like I, I like to blanch the leaves and then freeze them and then just have them in the freezer ready to go for our mornings uh, when we have smoothies. So that was really it for today. Hope everyone's having a wonderful last little bit of winter. Spring's on its way. I've got a lot of plants started in the greenhouse inside on the grow racks and um, just really excited for what's here to what's coming uh, this growing season. So. Stay tuned. Hopefully you're excited for growing just like I am.